Howdy everyone, Pete Daddy here. Today we were given a real prize in FIFA 20. It's this new Summer Heat 93 rated Nelson Semedo objective card. And in my opinion, he now becomes the best right back in all of FIFA. So I think everyone should work to complete this card. And I wanted to go over the objectives, what you need to do, the best way that you can get them done the fastest. So first and foremost, we are given basically two weeks to complete the Semedo, which based on these objectives should be more than enough time. It doesn't even take a ton of grinding to get them. The first one is called Portuguese Passer. And this one you have to assist in two separate rivals matches using Portuguese players. And I guess I should say this first and foremost, this is, this is an objective you have to complete completely in division rivals. You can't do any of it in squad battles, which is the only unfortunate thing. But I will credit EA that given us two weeks is more than enough time. So I've got a couple players listed out as well. We'll go into that once I kind of go through these. But just a couple players, Portuguese players, you may have in your club already. Bruno Fernandes, he was an objective card recently. If you got him all the way up to a 94, it would be a great Portuguese card to use. Cristiano Ronaldo. There was a Bernardo Silva. There's been a Jal Felix. There was a Nanny SBC. You know, a couple weeks ago, MLS was a really strong card. So, you know, I'm sure a lot of you already have these Portuguese players in your club that you can use. But if not, you know, work towards some of those types of players. Cristiano Ronaldo's gold version is not super expensive at this stage of the game. So if you don't have any of those, that may be your best bet to get a really strong Portuguese player into your team. And all you have to do is assist. There's no win condition. So you just need in two separate matches to get an assist with a Portuguese player. So you want someone playing up top, either like your striker or one of your cams, you know, someone up top that's going to be av available to, to give you some assist. Then the next one is called Defensive Delivery. And this one is called Assist Two Goals and Rivals Using Defenders. And I'm going to go to the next one as well because I think these you maybe could do in conjunction with each other depending on who you come against. But this one is called Scoring in Spain. And this one is Score 10 Goals and Rivals Using La Liga Players. And what I want you to notice is this does not have a win condition and it's not multiple matches. Sometimes what you have is you have to score a goal in 10 separate matches. This one has scored 10 goals. So one thing you could do, especially if you go on rivals fast, is I'm sure you can message someone before the game and say, hey, do you just want to score 10 goals, trade 10 goals back and forth with La Liga players? You can knock that out. Lickety split would not even be a problem. And if you do that, just make sure you get two assists with defenders. Now, if you're not going to do that and you want to do it kind of the legit or right way, a player that you may want to really look at is Ferlin Mendy. You know, that was an objective card not too long ago. If you work towards him, he is amazing for putting up into a central cam role. I know a lot of us had to do that to get all the way up to that Mendy because I think he had to score a goal and assist or something for his final challenges. So Mendy does really well. If you have someone like Trent Alexander-Arnold, if you have, you know, a lot of these like left backs, the left backs and right backs, you know, those top left backs, right backs are going to be your best bets. Andrew Robertson's, you know, Kenny Lala. If you did that, Danilo, you know, there's just a lot of those. You just want those like quicker, agile fullbacks that have good passing. And if, if you want to do it that way, but like I said, you could easily, especially if you do this quickly, you could knock this out at the same time message someone before the match, hey, let's trade 10 goals back, and then just make sure you get two assists with defenders at the same time. Then the final one, this is the only hard one, and that is to score in five separate rivals wins using La Liga players. So you need to make sure you've got some La Liga players, and I'll highlight a few of them, but you know some of the best ones that are cheaper or you may already have in your team. I seem to have noticed a lot of people have that Kareem Benzema team of the season in their club somewhere. You know That would be a good option for banging in some goals. One I really recommend is that Dembele Summer Heat. You know, if you haven't completed him, this may be the right time to complete him. Get him into your team, finish him up, and then bang in some goals with, with Dembele. You know, Messi, of course, his gold version is down pretty cheap. You know, Griezmann. Another one, Jao Felix. You know, you could actually combine this one with the Jao Felix. You know, you could get a goal with Jao Felix and an assist with Jao Felix because he's Portuguese and also La Liga. So, once you complete those four objectives, and the other thing I'll say about this, this is five separate rivals wins, but we have another amazing objective going right now called Hot Streak. 
And this one, if you get to 25 Rivals wins, we only have one more week left on this, but you would get a, you know, I've already claimed this one with the two rare gold players packs, but it keeps going up and up and up. So then you would get a small prime gold players pack, a mega pack, a prime gold players pack, a rare players pack, and then the group reward is a jumbo rare players pack. So, you know, getting those five Rivals wins would also help you grind towards this objective, which is really strong, gets you some really nice packs. So... I would really highly recommend this Nelson Semedo. Let's go and take a look at his stats, and I'll show you some of these players I was talking about that will help you along the way as far as completing this. But first and foremost, let's take a look at why I think this Semedo is the best right back in the, in the game. What you see right here is he's got 99 pace already. And, you know, it doesn't completely mean it's 99-99, but it's acceleration of 97, sprint speed of 99. So you do not need to put a chem style on Semedo to boost his pace. Now his shooting is actually, you know, not terrible. His finishing is poor, but you know, you're really, I mean, I can't think of the last time I even asked a right back or left back to shoot the ball for me. Even when I asked my fullbacks to get forward, they're still just crossing the ball in or, you know, just out wide to tear up some space, you know, or occupy some space to get some stuff opened up for you. But it's rare you're going to ask him to shoot. So, you know, you if you're putting Semedo on a lot of shooting positions, you're probably doing something wrong with him. But his shot power is nice, but you're just not really going to ask him to shoot. His one potential downfall is his passing. And that's where he has 75 vision, vision and 79 long passing. I've talked about this a lot this year. Wing play is so important. So if you can have a fullback that can make passes up the wing, that makes a huge difference. But where this Semedo is next level is he already has 97 acceleration, 99 sprint speed. We can put a chem style on him to boost his passing up to another next high tier level. So I'm not worried about that passing mainly because we can boost it up with a chem style. And it's not poor by any means, but when you have a fullback that can make those passes, it works out really, really well. Then here's where we get to where this just takes the tomato card to the next level. Look at that. 99 agility, 95 balance, 95 reactions, you know, plus 90 in every single dribbling category, which is just insane for a fullback. And one thing you'll notice when you come up against these wing players, you're going to have like these Dembele's, you're going to have Neymar's, you're going to have... Triores, you know, you're going to have these fast, agile players running at you. So when you have a fast, agile right back or left back that can keep up with them, then that just makes things a lot easier for you to take care of your business. So he's going to be able to keep up with any of these agile wingers that come down your way. Then his defending is also really strong. Interceptions of 96. His heading accuracy is poor. If this was FIFA 19, that would maybe be a big deal. And FIFA 20, that does not matter one bit. 92 defensive awareness, 96 stand tackle, 95 slide tackle, amazing. Physical stats, jumping 96, stamina 99, aggression 97, which is really important for a defender. Now, as strength, we're going to boost that up a little bit because what I am recommending for Semedo, I don't know if I can look at it there. Let me just put it on a card I already have. But as far as chem style goes, what I would recommend to put on Semedo uh, let me just get it over here. It's a defending chem style, and it's this backbone. So this is going to boost his passing. It's going to boost his defense a little bit, and it's going to boost his physical. So that's what I would recommend on Semedo. Put this backbone on him, get his passing up a little bit, get his strength up a little bit, and make his defense and defending even higher. The other thing I really, really like about Nelson Semedo is his work rates. And you'll see there he's medium high work rates. And it's kind of rare to find a fullback. Like, let me just take a look at this real quick. Let's just go through some of our concept players of the best right backs in the game. Like Danilo, high attacking work rate, medium defensive work rate. Trent Alexander-Arnold, high attacking. Um, let me just see. Carvajal, high, high. Um, Lala, I think is another one, high, medium. So, you know, most of your high-end right backs have high attacking work rates. And, you know, that's not really an issue, but I still, for me personally, I want my fullbacks to be defensive-minded first. And I, I do involve my fullbacks a lot in the build-up play, but I want to be the one that triggers that. I want to be the one that says, hey, Nelson Semedo, I want you to get forward a little bit, trigger that run or pass to him and dribble up with him a little bit. I, but I still want his main AI focus to be to get back. I don't want you bombing up the pitch unless I ask you to bomb up the pitch. So I love that about Semedo. He's also a decent height for a fullback. So 
In my opinion, this is the best fullback in the game, and I would recommend everyone out there to work on bringing him into your club because he's just going to really help things out. Now, here's what I was talking about. Some of these players you may have in your team, like if anybody completed Bernardo Silva, there's been two different Bernardo Silva SBCs out there. If you completed either one of those, still have them in your team. That's a great Portuguese player to use. Cristiano Ronaldo, again, another great Portuguese player to use, obviously. Uh, this Rafa card has been pretty cheap. He's another one, you know, another one great to use. 99 agility, 99 balance, great pace. He's going to be able to get some assists for you. But one that a lot of you probably have in your team is some version of this Bruno Fernandes where we had those objectives here a week or two ago or a couple weeks ago. So if you have that Bruno Fernandes, that's a great option to use to get that. Then for a lot of Liga goals, I'm focusing on some of these that some of you may have that aren't as che or that are cheaper. Some of you guys maybe did this Kubo objective, so you may have him in your team for free. This is a great card to bang in some goals with. A lot of you maybe completed Vinicius Jr. A lot of you maybe did Mindy, and this is what I was also talking about. This Mindy would be great for getting that defensive assist. Plus, he even bangs in some goals. I know his finishing is a little poor, but with his five-star, five-star, he seems to find some good spaces to, to score some goals from. So, you know, you could even bang in goals with this Mindy if you needed to, so you can do a lot with him. And also, this Usman Dembele is next level, so, you know, I would just highly recommend him as well. And again, I've noticed, it just this is more of an observation, I've noticed a lot of people seem to have this Kareem Benzema in their club. So if you have him, he certainly can bang in some goals for you for that. As far as how I would play Semedo, what I'm going to do is put him into my team here. And I'm going to replace Carvajal with him, which again, nothing against Carvajal. And just to let you guys know my right back rankings, the way I would rank them right now, number one would be Semedo, number two would be Danilo, and then I would have this chunk of right backs that all play, in my opinion, pretty much the same. Carvajal, Trent Alexander-Arnold, Lala, all of those are going to do work for you, take care of, you, take care of business. And also that... Um, you know, what was that, Mbabu, if you linked him into your team, would be a great right back for sure as well. You know, there's some really good right backs, but I would put um, Semedo as the number one. So in my opinion now, the best back line in FIFA is what I have right now. Team of the season, Ter Stegen. We're going to put Semedo right here. Ramos, team of the season. Longley, summer heat. And this Mindy objective card. So EA has been a little generous with us, which I mean, this Mindy was a big grind. But Mindy and Semedo were both free cards. You know, free, you know, it does take a time commitment for sure. But, you know, Mindy and Semedo, you know, once, obviously I'm going to replace them for Carvajal. But, you know, just telling you guys, that's, in my opinion, the best one in the game. So to wrap it up, I would just highly recommend completing that Semedo. He is an absolutely insane card. Make sure to complete him. Make sure to subscribe if you're new here. Follow me on Twitter at PeteDaddyFIFA. But I will see you guys soon. Bye.